Solve the equation sine squared x plus 3 cos x is equal to tan x for pi between x being between minus pi and pi. Now for some equations, sometimes it is, but particularly on paper 2, it is probably easier to solve them using the GDC. So if this was a paper 2 question, this would definitely have to be solved using the GDC. So you've got sine squared x plus 3 cos x is equal to tan x. So we're going to use the GDC. So going to the GDC, and what we're going to do is select graphing mode, which is this one here. This is what you get when you turn it on. So selecting that, and we get a graph. Okay, we're going to select the um, axes. I'm not going to change the y-axis from the default, but I'm going to change the uh, x-axis because I only want to do from minus pi, which is pi you get from doing this one down here, this one here. And take the top one to be pi. So same thing again. Okay, the rest I'm just going to leave as the same. Okay, so you can see here it's changed the axis from minus 3.14 to 3.14. Okay, go into the first thing. We've got sine squared x. That's sine x all squared. So we really need to put brackets. Trig functions can be found here. So we're going to select sine, put in x, and then go outside the bracket, and then square it, plus 3 trig cos x. Now one other thing you should check first of all is that your calculator is in radiant mode, like mine is already. If not, you need to change it. Okay, but for an SL exam it should by default be in radiant mode. Okay, press enter We get a graph. Okay, now I'm going to enter the second graph. Now to enter the second graph I'm going to control and G. I'm just going to put in tan, so I'm going to go to trig, tan, x, and enter. I get the second graph. Okay, what I want to know is where they intersect, which is there and there. So using the menu, analyze the graph, number 6, number 4, you take it slightly to the left and then to the right. You get one, one point here, just going to move that over there out of the way. And then I'm going to repeat it for the second one. So menu, analyze the graph, intersection, second, there. And we're choosing intersection because we wanted to know where these two things were equal. And there is the second one. So we've got 2.24 and the first one being 1.13. Okay, going back to my thing. Okay, you wouldn't obviously you wouldn't have this on your exam script, but it is important on a paper two question that you draw a sketch of the graph. Now it's not how to be a perfect perfect plot, just a sketch. So with a ruler, nice straight axis labelled X and Y. Because we've got tan, it's good to put the asymptotes in. You should know the asymptote should be at minus pi over 2, minus pi over 2, and pi over 2. So mark them in with a ruler with a dotted line. Then it's very easy to draw the, the tan graph. After doing that, make sure you label it. And then it makes it easy to draw the other one. So it just needs to roughly look right. And make sure that you label each graph. We want the points of intersection. So they should be marked down like that, which is 1.13 and 2.24. We only need the x coordinates from the calculator. And finally, write out the answer. x is equal to 1.13 or 2.24 radians.